Hey everyone, this is Ken. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I had tons of fun making that. And at this point, guys, we're gonna explain everything that's inside the yacht. Now we're gonna start off with this back end here, guys. You're gonna notice that we have some soul sand over here and dispensers on each corner. Now the soul sand, what it does is it allows you to take a boat and ride to it and it kind of gets stuck inside without breaking. So it allows you to come on and off without you losing the boat. And the dispensers actually shoot boats out once you press the button in case you don't have any. So it's a kind of cool on and off feature to really come on the boat and off the boat. And it uh, kind of makes it different, you know? You always want to make something to that next level. Now we have this awesome pool here that allows you to see right underneath it, which is a whole different thing, which we'll get into that later. And over here, guys, what I wanted to create was a nice chill out area, a spot where you guys could chill out, relax, enjoy the weather, got this awesome pool, and really create that yacht kind of rich vibe to it, you know? So I was really happy with that. I wanted to really take that and kind of decorate it at the same time. Now, once we come down here, guys, you're gonna notice we have some awesome features in the lower deck. You know, we have this really cool farm area. And you have to notice, guys, you have this nice industrial area as well. I mean, you got some furnaces here where you can put your coal at. And the cool thing is, everything will go right into that chest with no problem. So you always need one of those wherever you're at. And we also have a fully automatic melon farm. And believe it or not, even though it's small, it really pumps out a lot. I mean, all the items go right into that chest. And you can see you already got a few stacks and some additional storage. Now, if you go kind of further on, we have a sheep and cow farm right in front of us. And on the side here, we have some additional storage. Now, this is a very cool farm. It's, not, it's more like a cooker, to be honest. Because what it allows you to do, it allows you to feed the animals so they can breed. And the babies will fall right underneath. And the cool thing is, once they grow, you can actually press a button where a lava will dispense and burn them. But just burn them enough to cook it so that you can get the cooked items and not lose anything. And vice versa on the other side. We also have a sheep farm, like I said previously, and it does the same exact thing. I mean, it's the coolest thing. I love it. It's a really high uh, efficient feature. <laughs> and it works amazingly well, guys. Now we also have a cocoa bean farm, but before we get into that, let me show you this whole cooking aspect. Now, once you hit that button, guys, like I said, lava will dispense. But the great thing about it, the babies will never get killed. Only the adults. And no matter what button you press on both sides, both dispensers will always go off. Now to activate the cocoa bean farm, all you have to do is press that button right on top. See? Kind of pushes the wood back and forth, causing it to break. Now some of the cocoa beans won't go in the hopper, but the rest will, and they'll go directly into that chest with no issue. But either way, you still have to go through there anyway, just so you can replant them and so forth. It's a, it's a great semi-automatic system to really have. Now, all the way in the front here, which is pretty much the front of the boat, we have a, a few more of the features. Now, we do have a fully automatic egg farm here. And of course, we have our mushroom stew. We can't miss that out. So whenever you want, man, you just hit that button, get some bowls. And you're good to go. Look at that. It's that simple. And with this village over here, what we have here is a bread farm. And he works nonstop making bread and continuously going back and forth. Look at that. It's amazing. It's a cool feature. I personally love it. And especially in survival, it makes a world of difference. And we also have a spot here in case you want to get any kind of um, milk for whatever you need it for. Now let's go back to the back end of this boat. When we first came in. Now you notice when we first came down, you probably haven't noticed, but there's two entrances on both sides. Now once you go through here, you're gonna notice you have this awesome view on the side here, which is gonna really see the whole side profile of the boat. And it leads you directly under the pool. And you have this awesome visual effect where you can see everything outside, you can see the pool, and you have tons of storage underneath. So if you guys want to use this as a storage room, etc., you can. I mean, it really creates a nice feature to kind of interact with the entire boat and work with one. 
I mean, to me, I love the whole flow of things, you know? Now, we're going to go right back here to the side, guys. We're going to go right upstairs. And you're going to notice we also have a helicopter deck, which um, is great. You got your own private helicopter to come on and off. Super epic, especially if you have a yacht. You always want to take that to the next level and kind of pimp out your ride. So I wanted to make this as detailed as possible and add tons of features in it. Now, we also have an ender chest and some drinks, which is really a splash potion regeneration. But let's face it, guys, you know, after a long trip, you know, you're going to be kind of worn out. Now, once we go over here, guys, you also have another path on the sides here, which lead to another room. Now, check this out. Now, it's always symmetrical. We always have the same thing on both sides. So there's nothing different on the other side. But once you come in, guys, you're going to notice you have a full brewing station right here. And it's fully functional. Which is awesome. Now, all you have to do, guys, you have a brewing stand there with some water bottles inside, which is ready to go. And all you have to do is click the ingredients that you want. So you press the button and all the ingredients will go directly into that brewing stand with no issue. Now, in this case, guys, we're going to make a splash potion of swiftness. And you're going to see the nether wart's going to be in there first, because that's what we press. And the rest of the ingredients will be right up in that hopper, waiting its turn. Now we have our unlimited supply of water. We have water bottles here and a little extra chest to put all your little extra items. And of course, depending on what feature you're playing, you can also connect this to newer versions, which is great because you have that diversity to really mix and match. Now the opposite end of this, which is pretty much the fun part of the ship, we have a fully automatic sugarcane farm and all those items go right into that chest. And of course, we have to have a nether wart farm, especially when you have a brewing station. Now, all you have to do is hit that button. The water will push everything forward. And it'll go into that chest like so. Now, once you're ready, guys, you just turn it off. And you might get a few stragglers, but not to worry, guys, because you still have to come in and replant everything. So either way is a win-win situation. And when you're done, guys, just go into that chest and place it right there. Now, this to me will be like the control area. Basically, how you steer the ship. I mean, the whole control area where you drive the ship, etc. And what I also wanted to include in this to make this more functional is an enchanting room, which is great. Now, once you come up here, guys, you're going to notice you have these two handles, and I wanted to make this as realistic as possible. You know, you got the steering ship, I mean, the, I guess, a steering wheel. <laughs> you can tell I've never been on a boat like that. But um, you pretty much get the gist of it. Now, like I said, guys, I'm from New York, so I don't get the luxury of seeing too many boats or being on them. So kind of bear with me. Now, we're going to use the helicopter as a point of where we're going. So we're back at the helicopter. Now we're going to go right upstairs and I'll show you what else is going on. Now, up here is a cool feature, right? I want to make this a little more private and a little more personal. Now, we have an ender chest there. We also have a little micro elevator on the left, a little crafting area, some more storage because you're always going to need that, and a nether portal. So you can use that as a nether portal hub, as um, a way to get to the nether, etc. Now, in this room, guys, is of course your personal bedroom. I mean, who doesn't want to have their own private room on top, having an awesome eye, this view of everything? Which is amazing. You got a perfect view here. You have a skylight right in front of you to give you some additional lighting. And you're away from mobs. Let's face it. I mean, last thing you want to do is try to go to sleep and you have mobs too close to you. Now, once we go upstairs, guys, at this little kind of miniature minecart elevator. And over here, guys, you could literally make this anything you want. It's a nice chill out area. You can see everything around you. And it gives you a whole bird's eye view of everything that's going around your ship. So you can always know what's happening constantly. So with this yacht, guys, I really wanted to take it to that next level and make it fully functional. Besides having a visual effect, I wanted this to work in a Minecraft setting. I mean, especially when you're in survival. You want to have this to really make this your house. You can. 
Now, once again, we're back at the helicopter. Now we're going past the main entrance, well, that little spot we went into, and going to the front of the ship. Which is pretty cool. I mean, you have this awesome view, this nice chill out area. You got this epic view of the ship. Once again, you have this awesome view of everything around you. And over here in the front of the tip of it, you have a hidden room. Now, what's great about this room, guys, you can make this anything an AFK spot, etc. I mean, it's literally sky's the limit of what you want to make this as. You can even make it a guest room. But I wanted to have that extra feature just, just in case. I mean, sometimes I just like to be AFK and be back. And there it is. Anyway, there's all the features, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had tons of fun making it. And let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.